In other news, President Ekufuado has admonished the African media to only report the facts and not allow themselves to be used to destroy others. Speaking at the opening of an African Journalist Leaders Conference in Accra, the president said a vibrant and unfettered media is what the continent needs to engender development. The two-day African Journalist Leaders Conference will discuss strategies to shape the media industry on the continent in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has dealt a terrible blow to jobs and media sustainability. The Journalist Leaders Conference will also examine the worrisome erosion of media freedom in many countries in Africa and propose practical measures to reverse the trend. Former chairman of the National Media Commission, Ambassador Cabral Blair Mehir, said media practitioners must enjoy their freedom through ethical and responsible journalism and focus on issues which seek to promote a common good. In my view, the Ghanaian media, both public and private, are profoundly empowered to practice their chosen profession without fear or fever. Similarly, citizens of Ghana are also empowered to enjoy and exercise their inalienable right to free speech. These freedoms, freedoms and rights we enjoy today are not by our might, nor by anybody's favor or grace, but through guarantees enshrined in the nation's 1992 constitution. That is the big difference between yesterday and today. Precarious working conditions of journalists will receive priority attention as the conference will explore viable options to strengthen the bargaining capacity of journalist unions in Africa. In instances too numerous to cite, even the slave wages of journalists are in arrears. And in scenarios cheerfully painful to recall, some journalists are not paid at all. A famous Ghana parlance has it that man must eat or man must survive. And this survival instinct explains, but does not justify, the proneness of any poorly paid, heavily owed, or zero salaried journalist to be cheaply bought, easily compromised. President of the Federation of African Journalists, El Sadiq Ibrahim Ahmed, encouraged government to support journalists, especially in this era of coronavirus pandemic. Information Minister Kojo Pong Kruma said freedom of the media must be guarded jealously and reiterated government's commitment at building stronger unions to enhance journalism and media freedom. It must be of interest to us and our leaders in the industry to constantly set the standard on what is ethical and acceptable and be quick to uphold same while calling out boldly without fear or favor that which is not journalism but masquerades as such. If not done by we, the journalists ourselves, and our unions, it sets the stage for others to take us on and by effect undermine what is true journalism. President Ikufado lauded the media for keeping government on the continent accountable. The president, however, urged journalists to report facts and not to be used to destroy others. The media has immeasurable power to build up the confidence and values of our societies and their institutions, and therefore ought to be assisted in discharging their duties at all times. I appeal to media practitioners of the continent to take a second look at the immense power they wield and the responsibility they owe their societies and their peoples, and ensure that they do not sacrifice integrity and the future of our societies on the altar of an instant scoop or ill-considered publication. He further condemned the abuse of rights of journalists but encouraged them to allow critique of their works. However, there seems to be an emerging narrative which is being proffered by some in Ghana that critiquing the work of a journalist constitutes an attack on media freedom. That certainly cannot be described as an attack on media freedom. Having the freedom to criticize and op oppose should also mean that the media is ready to accept and work with criticisms of its work by the citizenry or officialdom. That, for me, is one of the surest ways of improving the public discourse of our respective countries 
and we should all strive towards realizing this. The conference is expected to come out with an Accra declaration which will articulate the future direction of journalism on the continent.